Hello Old Hammer, it's Brett from Solo Old Hammer Gaming. My top five tongue in cheek, why wait for Warhammer the Old World when I already have Old Hammer review. Let's get started. Why wait for Warhammer the Old World when Old Hammer's already here? Anything that's going to be printed about Old Hammer has already been printed. Anything that's going to be ever written about Old Hammer from Games Workshop has already been written. It's out there, it's either on eBay or through friends or flea markets or if you want to be really, really naughty, there's PDFs available for everything for Old Hammer. So, yeah, you don't have to wait. And I friggin' hate waiting for stuff to turn up. Part of the um, problem with it is waiting for it to turn up and waiting for it to be sold. So, yeah, that's... A really good reason for me to just keep plugging away with old Emma. So like it says, we already know the rules and how the magic system works. Now, I haven't seen anything about how the magic system is going to work for Warhammer the Old World as yet. Uh, that might be coming soon, but that does worry me a little bit because... I remember the the dark days of cards from the Warhammer Magic uh, supplements, and then uh, RK Magic came out in fourth edition as well, and then it was all rolled into one for fifth edition. But um, we started with in third edition with like pen and paper and magic points that you just crossed off as you as you rolled up the spells to cards and then dice. So. Yeah, not sure how magic works for it yet, and it does concern me a little bit. Uh, also for the rules, um, yeah, if we've got a rule in Old Hammer that we don't like, then we just simply get rid of it. So there's no wondering and thinking about what the rules are going to look like. To quote my father, you don't have to um, think about it because, yeah, there's no thought because you haven't, you know, well, I'm just going to say it, it's, you don't have to think you farted when you shit yourself, because it's already printed, it's already there, all done, not a problem at all, so, and yeah, the house rules are, are a big thing for um, Old Hammer, so I've got a number of house rules that I use uh, on the channel, I just, I just play as verbatim from the book, because uh, that's the simplest, that's the the way a uh, new player would pick it up and look at it. So, yeah, everything's already done. That's a big bonus. So this one, the third one, is a big bonus. Um, alternate miniature manufacturers and 3D printing. Um, we all know that Games Workshop, they charge like a wounded bull, and um, I think some of these miniatures for Old World Warhammer are going to be quite expensive. Now, I live in Australia, so I'm thinking 150, 160 plus for some of the miniatures. Um, I'm looking at probably steam tanks and things like that, uh, maybe some of the character models and things. Um, Games Workshop has said on numerous occasions that they're a miniature manufacturer, not a games manufacturer. I don't know how they work that out. They uh, got, <laughs> they do have the word Games Workshop in their, in their title, so yeah, I'm not sure how that works out, and that does worry me. But the amount of um, third-party manufacturers that are out there at the moment and what they're producing, oh my goodness. They are sensational. Like You've only got to look at like Warlord um, and Perry's, who I'm using for my Empire Army. I'll be using them for Bretonians as well. Um, the old school Orcs. Uh, I've got a lot of those through eBay and things like that, and sometimes you can pick up a, a decent bargain on eBay, even through Facebook groups and stuff like that. You can 
you can pick up a, a decent bargain for your uh, miniatures. But um, yeah, with the amount of third party manufacturers out there, no longer do you have to strictly go with Games Workshop. The, the world is definitely your oyster when it comes to how you want to represent your, your troops that um, you want on the, on the table. Like, I do have the Citadel Miniatures catalogue, like the, the blue, the red, the green, and the black one. Um, I do have that. Um, that's mainly for reference and things. Um, but yeah, I just I'm just a little bit worried about how some of the, how expensive some of these miniatures are going to be. Like, let's face it, like Games Workshop wouldn't shout at the shark bit them, to be quite honest. So yeah, there there is that part of it that that concerns me, but. Yeah, with all the third-party manufacturers that are out and about now, you don't have to go to the Strictly Games Workshop. Um, 3D printing has had a lot to do with that. There are some really, really nice 3D print print models um, that you can do. Um, maybe get them, get someone to print them for you or print them off yourself. It's, it becomes a hobby within a hobby, I suppose. But yeah, I look at that as a bonus. Um, Gripping Beast, that's my Norse Army. Um, most of those are my Norse Army is from Gripping Beast. Uh, I do have uh, War Lord miniatures there that, that I'd probably use for my um, Norse as well when I start fleshing it out to 3,000 points. But um, yeah, definitely take a look at the alternate miniature makers. A um, bit different if you're going to do tournaments and things for um, like Warhammer tournament, Warhammer Old World tournaments, uh, I'm pretty sure that they will make you use their miniatures, but um, yeah, unless you're um, tournament gaming, then pff, that doesn't really make much of a difference to be quite honest, but there you go. So yeah, number three is yeah, alternate miniature manufacturers and 3D printing. Lovely jubbly. So number four, all armies are supported in Old Hammer because their books have already been printed. Um, you only got to go to the Warhammer Armies book and you'll see all the all the mainstays are there. Um, even when you start going fifth and sixth edition, uh, even fourth or fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh edition, um, army books for the biggies have already been printed. The reason I made this video is because that um, I did see that the announcement was that only certain armies are going to be actually like inverted commas supported with like books and new material and new troops and stuff like that. Um, I found that a little bit of a slap in the face to be quite honest because you've got armies like, well they did say they wanted to concentrate on the old world so they chose Camry. Like, how much further from the old world can you bloody well get? Like, seriously. You have to tromp over the Badlands, the Border Princes, to get there. Vampire counts aren't included, but that's another story. I, I was very upset, <laughs> needless to say, when um, Undead were broken up into Camry and Vampire counts. Um, I still like the... The whole necromancer trying to conquer death sort of thing. Um, that's what I. That's what I love. That's why I still like third edition and yeah. But Skaven weren't aren't supported. Dark Elves aren't supported. They were forever running up and down the bloody coast, taking like slaves and sacrifices from the old world. Um, I'm not sure. I'd have to. I'd have to double check, but I'm pretty sure that the, the the timeline itself is in the lead up to the war against chaos. Now, that means that there's going to be no colleges of magic, because I'm pretty sure from reading, and it would be 20 plus years ago, <laughs> showing my age there, that. Um, the Colleges of Magic were not set up until after the Great War Against Chaos, and I think it was Teclas that actually helped 
set up the the colleges of magic as a as a favor to magnus the pious after the great war against chaos so there won't be any um bright wizard with them well there shouldn't be any bright wizards or anything like that because yeah that doesn't fit in with the law but i suppose they could just change the law that's what they bloody did in the first place and they fucked everything by writing out the old world in the first place so yeah not that I'm bitter. <laughs> so, <laughs> tongue in cheek bitterness. <laughs> nice. So yeah, that's um part of part of the reason that yeah that I made this video was because yeah, all armies in Old Hammer are supported with either a book or a um their own like Warhammer Armies book as well, like when I say a book, I mean like the Warhammer Armies book from 3rd edition, because that's my edition. The King of Editions, uh, I'm looking at that. Because you, you also get um, armies in there that aren't even considered anymore. Like Halflings, uh, Norse, like real Norse, not chaos lacking Norse, but real Norse who traded and fight with Norse Dwarves. Um, not trying to cook them alive and sacrifice them to the Chaos Gods, because that's just not who the Norse were. Um, Nippon, uh, Thamir, there's a blast from the past. There's a, I'm pretty sure they're mercenaries or, or something in the Warhammer Armies book. Um, Old Worlders, so we're looking at like Talia, uh, Talia or whatever. Um, yeah. I do feel a bit sorry for the scaven players, I just can't catch a break, the poor buggers, boy, seriously. They become the new Britannia <laughs> by the sense of it. <laughs> because yeah, they're not um, they're not then they'll be all the armies missed out will be getting a um, a PDF. Whoop de doo. Uh, at the end of the day, that uh, PDF will become obsolete and, and it won't they won't be balanced because whatever new book comes out will be um, the new superpower and I hope that doesn't happen but I've got a bad feeling it's going to just to move product so but yeah that's where I'm at with that so at least in Old Hammer you know what you're going to get and all the armies are supported with either the Warhammer Armies book in 3rd edition, or Rabbiting Hordes in 2nd, um, I think, and Warhammer Armies books from 4th edition onwards. Uh, I don't consider 8th edition Old Hammer. I sort of fell out of Warhammer around the end of 6th. I didn't mind 6th. It's not the King of Editions. The King of Editions well, the Emperor of Editions is 3rd edition for sure, for me anyway. <laughs> but, yeah. At the end of the day, I'm doing this video because I would love to see more Old Hammer channels pop up. I really would. I cannot friggin' get enough of it. Um, lots of waking hours uh, I spent thinking about Old Hammer. Because um, it's an escape. And I love it. So, yeah. And everything's supported in Old Hammer. Just remember that. Number five. No rebasing. <laughs> My little bugbear. <laughs> yeah. You can... Um, you can rebase and use movement trays and stuff like that, but yeah, I'm not going to risk damaging my lovingly painted figures to rebase them onto the 25s. My humans will stay on 20s like they're supposed to, because <laughs> I'm old fashioned and I've got my head in the in, head in the ground. <laughs> not doing it. <laughs> That's purely my opinion, and yeah. Bugger it, I'm not doing it. <laughs>
I like the 20s and I like the 25s. I like the 25s because the orcs are on them and they're supposed to be bigger and wider and stronger than a human. So they're on 25s. Humans are on 20s. Goblins are on 20s. Um, the wolves are on 20s because, yeah, it'd be too hard to put them on 15. <laughs> so, yeah, modern. Not bugbear. <laughs> no rebasing necessary. So that's it. That's my top five reasons why I'm not really going to be waiting for Warhammer the Old World and I'm going to be sticking with Old Hammer. Um, I think for a few of the the items you could see I was clutching for straws <laughs> that's why it was tongue in cheek but um, yeah just some of the reasons why I prefer old hammer um, I was a little bit um, how you doing about uh, not supporting all the armies that people have collected over the years and all the races that make the Warhammer world so awesome uh, Dark Elves, Skaven um, Vampire Council, I can't believe they didn't include Vampire Council, and they literally ruled in the old world. Sylvania was still running around, I'm pretty sure, at the time. But um, I have to actually go back and check that. That's based on readings from 4th and 5th and 6th edition books. Yeah. Cannot believe it. 20 plus years ago. You know, really and truly, if if I was a cart in the mill, I was definitely first just to make sure that I was off. That's, that's a long time ago. But what can you do? Soldier on. But yeah, that's um, some of the reasons why. Um, if you made it to this far in the in the, in the video, thanks heaps. Um, just yeah, if you like it, then. Um, yeah, subscribe, that would that mean a hell of a lot. I try to get back to everybody who leaves a comment on the videos. Um, I'll be going back to more old hammerish sort of content for the next video. Might even do uh, another roundup of another army in the army book. Um, but yeah, still waiting for the orcs to turn up. So once they turn up, then it's... All brushes go for the siege battle. Uh, get that all painted up and ready to rock and roll. But yeah, really looking forward to that. And yeah, just again, if you got this far in the video, thanks heaps for for watching. Um, leave a comment if you agree. Leave a comment if you don't agree. I don't worry if it's a bad comment. But seriously, it's all discussion is good discussion. At the end of the day. My aim is to get more people playing Old Hammer and putting out YouTube channels for Old Hammer and content and yeah, just because I like to I like to see it and I really do like to see um, that sort of content come out. I, I've been loving uh, Rogue Rogue Mini Gaming, Aussie bloke with beard. Even though he does says, say that the um, his edition's the best one, it's not. Third edition is, but I do like his content. But other than that, just keep climbing that old mountain, and uh, I'll catch you later.